Welcome back to the channel everybody, Zach with Money Pit RC. Today's video is another Sunday recap. Not a lot happened this week. Uh, we are still waiting on a whole bunch of parts. We did get a new build going on. There's a couple new videos out. Even though we weren't that busy in the shop, we did have some nice weather. So we got outdoors, did a whole bunch of crawling, got a whole bunch of content for the Instagram and all that. I'm glad that it's starting to get nicer out. Snow's starting to melt. We're gonna be outdoors a lot more. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of crawling, which is awesome. Hopefully we're gonna get the bashers out. And then once the actual summertime hits, get the boats, the planes, the helicopters, all the good stuff. So without further ado, let's get on with the Sunday recap. So first up, We've been playing around with the monster truck build a little bit. We got rid of the exoskeleton cage. We really couldn't find a way to mount the exoskeleton body the proper way. So we went back with the Jeep Gladiator body, which I love. We put it on Velcro. Keep it simple. We also did toss in a RCL wheel drive 34 turn 370 size motor, just to give it a little bit more wheel speed. So for this, uh, I have been looking at the MoFo RC Big Block. I spoke with somebody that works with MoFo and they recommend the Big Block for the wheel speed and all that. So once they're back in stock, they're gonna let me know and then we're gonna get one of those installed because I really want it to have that wheel speed that a monster truck should have. Or we'll just get one of those smashers from FMS or Fair RC. I'm not sure which ones, whoever makes what. Maybe we'll just get one of those and already just have a monster truck and then we'll disassemble this and use the parts for a new build. But the plan for this is I do want to get a front axle and then make it rear wheel steer. So we have a four wheel steering on a monster truck, which is that's the that's one of the end goals. So maybe we'll get the axle and server ordered up and then we can put the four wheel steer on this once we get the big block motor. So with the racing, we did finish the comparison video. It's a really good video. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check that video out. This little crawler surprised me. The only thing that's lacking is the capabilities of the ESC. So for this, my plan is to find the cheapest parts I can. No name parts, cheap parts, whatever we can get to make this thing better or worse. You know, we don't know what we're gonna get with the cheap parts, but we're just gonna play it by ear and then hopefully have some good content on this. So this is a little teaser here because the video is not even out yet, but we started modifying the Axio SCX24 JLU. I'm not gonna tell you the mods that we did because the video is not out yet, but you can just see that it is looking really good so far. Very happy with the color choice and the wheels and all that. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss that video. It's gonna be a good one. So we did pre-order the SCX24 Gladiator. I'm not gonna tell you the color yet, but you should already know. So once I actually get a ship date, we're gonna get that build going. We got some big plans for the Gladiator build. Keep your eyes peeled for that because it's gonna be awesome. So like I was saying earlier, not much has changed in the shop. We do have one new build going on. I will show you the progress of that. So this is the Rock Bouncer build. We did get the chassis assembled. We got the links installed. We got the shocks installed. Motor, ESC, transmission, skid plate all installed. Very excited. I love the aluminum with the blue. Every build I have, I always have a vision in my head and I have to match that vision or I won't be happy. So like I said, we got that part built. Like I said, we're waiting on the axles, but I do have two sets of the OGRC axle shafts with the universal joints. So we're gonna toss them in the new axles. And then look at these beautiful trio diff covers in blue, of course. It's gonna look really good. So I haven't had a four wheel steer buggy in a while. Very excited to get this thing built and completed. I just have to find the right wheels and tires. So this build is 100% done. Uh, I don't have any plans on changing anything. It's perfect the way it is. But they do have two other colored bodies. Well, they have a, a white, which you can paint, and then they also have like the green with the blue. So I'm thinking of building another one, uh, but making that more of like a performance-based crawler. So leave a comment below if you think we should, I should do that. So I don't know if anybody uses the Dumbo RC radio. It has six channels and it's got good range if you wanna use it on a bash or a speed car. I pretty much use this on all builds that needs a receiver. So normally it comes with this bigger receiver box. It's kind of bulky, but I make it work in most of my micro crawlers. Now you can get a micro receiver, 
which is a fraction of the size and it's still six channel which is great because if you want to have lights or a winch or something like that you can add that so I just wanted to let you guys know that instead of this big box you can get this little box so I just wanted to let you guys know that you can get these now which is great so I'm gonna order a whole bunch of these and start swapping over my micro crawlers I hope you guys enjoyed this short little episode of the Sunday recap I really enjoy doing these videos it's kind of nice just seeing my old videos and just watching the progress of my builds. So if you enjoy it, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, this is my year. We're gonna take this thing to the next level. Smash that like button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I'll catch you guys in the next video.